Hello, this is Thomas Südpacker speaking. Today I want to talk about API Connect. To get familiar with API Connect I use the this article. The article is related to uh, API Connect on Bluemix and show how to use API Connect uh, in context with a cloud and database to manage uh, the database access. It worked very well, it's a very good step-by-step uh, -step tutorial. What I was missing is about how to use a parameter inside API Connect to be more flexible when I call my API. You can see this is my um, cloud and database, the data inside the database. I have different views, search indexes and things like that. So um, the tutorial worked and I enhanced it a little bit by myself and now I want to show you how to use the parameter inside uh, the API Connect. Inside the assembly I have defined a hard-coded URL to get uh, the data from the sensor database. And I limit these to 20 rows and do not reduce the content. So I want to be more flexible. I want to change limits and maybe not to reduce and things like that. This simply means using uh, the REST call with parameters. You must replace the limit and the reduce with parameters inside API Connect. Let us check the existing REST call to be sure that everything is working and uh, we will get uh, the limited result 20 and so we can see yeah, it works. So and now uh, what are the tasks to do? to make it flexible. I have already configured this and we can verify the existing working call. That means here I defined uh, two parameters in the design uh, section called limited and reduce, um, which are, will be located in the query and one the limited is a type of integer and reduce is a type of boolean. In the path section, I define how to use the parameter in the REST call. So, uh, therefore, we do def uh, select uh, the get, the concrete get, and uh, insert the parameter uh, which I used here with uh, the existing information. When we will go back to the assembly, uh, we have to be sure, in my case, because I use uh, operation switch, uh, that every case is assigned to uh, the REST call. So to, to be sure that the right call is associated with the case. When this is done, we will insert the parameter inside the REST call. So we we'll replace it. So you can see now this is how to call the parameters inside the REST call itself. Let us test. When we will test, we will be uh, asked for insert the parameter value uh, when we select our REST call. So you can see it here in uh, detail. And here I insert uh, the 10 and I will not reduce uh, the return result and just invoke and then we will get only 10 values. Oh, okay, so I can use it and now I can change it maybe here uh, to 40 and once more and then I get more result values. So, this is a very easy case how to use parameter inside API Connect. For sure you can also find how uh, to use parameter in a developer tutorial. Um, I also inspect and there are some more options but this is a good way to understand basics and to use it. I add the links below in the description for my starting point, the blog and the documentation. I hope the information was useful for you and thanks for watching.